Cody here, and today I'm bringing us another Soul Split Guide. Today we're looking at an alternative to the most annoying thing in the game, Rock Crabs and Yaks. The reason being, everyone wants to train there. Pure is even high level people. Rock Crabs are multi-combat, always populated, and Yaks, there's not enough Yaks to go around for everyone, even in uh, World 4. Least populated world here. Don't mind me, I just typed penis. Don't mind that. Anyways, so, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, first and foremost, we're gonna talk about location. Where are we going? What are we doing? To get there, you're gonna go to your spell book, go to dungeon teleport, go to more, hit slayer dungeon, and go to low level dungeon. He's humping me. Fuck. Alrighty, once we're here, we're gonna run down this path. It's not too far of a way. And the moment of truth is almost here. We're gonna hide, we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide it till we get there. Dun dun dun! That's right, moss giants. Moss giants are a perfect alternative to rock crabs and yaks, and I'll go ahead and explain why. Basically, in this area, there's two pits containing, I think, like four or five apiece. There's one here, and uh, one over here. And it's multi combat, so you can go and punch one, punch two, punch three, and go back on Pornhub. That easy, right? Alright, so now let's go and talk about equipment. Alrighty, as we all know, gear is important. Let's go ahead and gear up. For you one defense strength purist, I recommend you bring the best defensive items you have, being a wizard hat, leather body, leather chaps, and rock line boots, along with your combat bracelet or region and bracelet, your choice, and your amulet of glory or fury, your choice as well. Once again, your cape is your own choice, and your defensive item, I'd go through the unholy book, or the holy book, depending on offensive or defensive bonuses. I didn't actually use these when I was level 1 defense, I got that pretty quickly. I'm not sure often they hit, but bring weapon of choice, and make sure to bring along with you some food, just in case they hit you a couple times, your uh, stack of charms, in order to stack your charms, and as always, I recommend when you're on an extreme account, or even whatever you're using, use uh, random road tokens every single time you train. It obviously makes it go a lot faster. Alrighty, equipment setup for you fellow 45 defense berserker peers like myself on this account. You're gonna want your berserker helm because you're a zerker. You need this. Either an amulet of glory or fury. Cape of your choice. Weapon of your choice. I'm using the Surin's our longsword because I have that. Defensive item. Um, your 40 defense. You can get a rune defender if you'd like. I haven't got there yet, so I'm using a holy book. Rune plate body and plate legs. Rune gloves and rock climbing boots for your inventory. You're gonna want your stack of charms because you will be farming those a lot there. And you don't need food at 45 defense, they never hit when you're up there. Never, I was not hit at all in my hours of sitting there. And optional, of course, your reward token to go and get more experience. And if you're one of those ungrateful, super rich, genetically superior guys who thinks you're better than all of us, you'll, you'll never die, you'll kill everything, and you know what? Overall, these not-so-gentle giants are a really good alternative to rock crabs or yaks that I actually used way back in the day, back on actual RuneScape, believe it or not. And um, they do drop charms, they do drop, do drop big bones if you want to go get a bone crusher and slowly grind up prayer XP. And in every single way that makes a trank spot good for pures and low levels, moss giants are great. They don't hit very often at, at all. They have high HP. They have really easy slides to, or slides to defenses. And a pretty special feature, just these guys alone. Almost no one trains here. Uh, a few times I've been here, maybe once or twice I ran to one person. Other than that, they're pretty secluded. They're pretty um accessible. And... They're a good place to go if you want to grind out those levels. Hope this guide helped you guys out. I am tired, I am sounding weird when I'm talking, and I'm ready to go. See you guys later for the next guide. Cody out. Alrighty, first and foremost, we gotta know about the location. Fuck, he's so stupid. God damn it, boss. Fuck. God damn it, just... Stop. What? What? <laughs> and we're gonna run along this path right here, and you're gonna not attack the spider. Damn it! Why is there always something in my way? 
Come on, man. Ah. And once you arrive back in the market, you're gonna follow this guy because his name is I69 Turtles. That is so insanely fucked up. I can't even. No.